Just a uh, very quick video to help people trying to use the One World mod to make either campaigns or um, D and D's type things, basically putting maps into one um, mod. You always need to come back to this base to work on your mod. When you upload it to um, Steam Workshop, you'll probably want to use the normal different table. But um, yeah, when you want to work on your mod, you have to use do it from here. So you yeah, delete the um, bags. Name them. Demo mod. I'll probably best give it as one word. I've had problems with that with some things. Demo mod. Make sure I'm capitals and lowercase the same. Yep, good. Lock that. Now um new name your tile base home screen change the texture of the tile to whatever you want it to be a very basic one I use a lot is black mat this will be underneath your maps to make sure that you can see the edges of the map and avoid the epilepsy bug, which is basically if you don't raise your map, it will interfere with the other map bases and you'll get a flicker screen whenever you move the mouse around. That is your screw that's your token to get back to the home screen. So if you want to get to the end of a, a um, series of things and then come back, you attach one of these to the next page. When naming your um when naming your uh, files the, the, the token that spawns up here. Try and make it all one word because otherwise I sometimes get the bug with the build button not appearing because of um, having it either too long or being multiple words so try and keep them short and um, as one word to avoid the build button bug and also build that make that thing before you add in your whatever you're going to be adding in to save it. Uh, whoops, that was wrong. So from there, you would just tell it to. So you select the whole thing and raise it slightly. To avoid the, um, you might want to reselect it to, um, Make sure it's not going to have any bugs, but anyway, at the moment, since I'm just doing it manually, I won't bother fixing things. This is just to show you what to do. Except mode. Hack. 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 And when we go to it now, should I have a build button. There we go, good. Um, other issues, uh, other things to note is um, the number of X's you can have on one screen is 84. Uh, the edges of where it will select things from is this black square and about um, is it about 10 inches high if I load in workshop if I load in this one no this one seems best. This is the one that has rolls well, in it. It can grab things up to about that much height off of the table. If you're wondering how big this is, Let's bring up a space marine. So, yeah. That's how high it can take into the mod. Um, I have found no limit to the amount of things you can actually install in the mod, whether people with worse computers can't cope with when it's got too many things inside it, I don't know. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, packing it and all.
So when you want to upload it to the workshop, you'd make it. You'd save that as an object. Then you bring it onto this table here, add it to where you want it to load into the other tables, then save the workshop from normal upload. And then if you decide you need to go back and work on it again to edit something, you then need to save this again as demo, because I actually have to pick something now, demo 9999999, save, go back to the one world, load, get rid of everything, delete, objects, Here, so it's in the position approximately, it doesn't have to be exact, close enough works. Uh, lock, lock, go to three, general, build, and I need to change the description on the central ruin. Silly me, you made this obscuring when it shouldn't have been. Scalable obscuring. Fixed. Right. And this I stuffed up as well. Right click. Home end. Actually, no, I need to make it exposed position, so. X. So this whole thing. Get one of these. Light cover. Scalable, defensible, calm space, exposed position. Fixed. Right now that's fixed. Same on this side. Put the face. Didn't get all of them. Right. right click to the end. Exposed position. Right. Repack it. That's the biggest downside of this mod. Every time you update, you have to go back in and edit the maps individually and put them back into the uh, mod. And save it as demo. No, 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 no. Post fixes. Save. Go back into the workshop upload file. Which is this one, load, set to here, what's my, get rid of that, and this is pretty much it, I'm just going to upload this to my workshop now, with the new um, changes put in. And this is sort of about here. Right, and I go into modding, workshop upload, update workshop, find my workshop ID in the Steam workshop, just the number part, copy that in, and click update. Hope you have a good day.